Hey guys, it's Melody Lane, and I'm gonna show you how to do iron-on on a hat today with the Easy Press. I'm using Cricut Foil Iron-on. You can use any iron-on vinyl or HTV. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. I use my Easy Press, as you noticed already. For my hat, I have a towel folded up in here. Okay, so this towel is just folded, it's just a hand towel, and it's folded in half, evenly, and then I'm folding it again, but not quite in half. I'm folding it over too far. You see, it's over about two inches. So folding it over about two inches, and then folding this back this way. So you have this little extra space here in the center, because we want it a little fuller in the center, because we're going to heat press on a hat. Let's put that there, and then let's kind of roll it up, but not completely like a roll, like we wanna like fold it over like that. And it should, when you press down on it, it should be shaped more like a hat, so it's fuller in the center. And you can use a pressing ham that I think is about the same thing. I've never used a pressing ham. We're gonna try this. I've never ironed on a hat either, but we're, we're gonna see how this works. I think this is gonna work just fine. We're not gonna do it yet because we have to preheat the hat. I'm gonna cut this a little smaller. We don't need all this extra space for this one. I'm gonna make sure this fits on here first before I actually lay it on. And then we're gonna lay that in right where the holes go. And I think that's pretty good. I think that's gonna work out great. We're gonna look at our heat temperature guide, rough, quick reference chart. This is also online. I'll put a link to this in the description of the video in case you lose this. It's always online. And we're gonna use cotton canvas. This is a cotton hat I got from Michaels. I think it was $2.99. We're gonna say cotton canvas because this feels like canvas, not like regular cotton material. And it says heat to 270. So we're gonna move this up to 270. Oh, we have to hit temperature. The light turns red because it's not quite ready and it will turn green when it's ready. And because it's cotton canvas, we're gonna do this for 40 seconds. So we're gonna hit timer and you'll notice the timer's blinking. That means it's ready to be changed. And it beeped, so it's ready at 270 for 40 seconds. Because we're doing two layers, I'm not gonna quite leave this on for 40 seconds. I'm only gonna do it about 10 seconds. I'm gonna heat this up first. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the timer. I'm not gonna do the whole 40 seconds. Okay. Now that's good. Let's set this here just temporarily. Make sure we have this on here straight. We're gonna put it right there. And I'm only gonna press this on for like 10 seconds because we're gonna do another layer. So I'm just gonna watch this and have it go down to 30 seconds. Okay. Now, when you peel off foil iron-on, you have to wait until it's cool. It's not completely cool. It's still warm, but it's, it's fine. Now I wanna put this right where the holes go, so I can see. And you wanna make sure that this top layer covers everything of the bottom layer. If not, you'll need to cover that. I did cut mine out big enough so it would cover. Okay, so now we're gonna do it for 40 seconds. Oh, I forgot to hit the timer. Thank you. 
I'm putting a little more pressure on it than normal just because it's a hat and it's not a flat surface. And like, I'm afraid over here, because it's not a flat surface, it probably didn't get a much. I'm gonna let it cool because it is foil iron on. And I'm gonna make sure I get these edges really good. So I'm gonna let it cool just a little bit. I don't wanna burn the foil. Okay, and I'm gonna do it again. This time I'm gonna kind of hold it over to the side for 20 seconds. And then I'm gonna kind of do it over on this side for 20 seconds. So I'm not completely flat, I'm more at an angle going on the edges. Seems like this side still isn't on there really good, but I made the mistake of going over the edge here a little bit on the seam. And then there's also these seams here that it's going over that. So we're gonna do the side again. And I'm just gonna wiggle this around a little to make sure it gets in there well. Okay, we're gonna leave this on here until that cools before we lift it off. Okay, it's cooled down, it's just barely warm now. So I'm gonna pull this off. And it looks like it did pretty good. I was actually kind of worried about doing foil on the hat. Isn't that cool? Okay, let's take this out. Now I made a custom hat with my logo. Okay guys, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. And if you like this video, click like. And here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Ellen, Karen, Brigetta, Gail, Connie, Crystal, Tanya, Sandy, Pam, Kimberly, Susan, Jill, Shelly, Tammy, Christine, Tabitha, Susan, Catherine, Brenda, Karen, Brenda, Jennifer, Janine, Rena, Sue, Kathy, Dorothy, Arlene, Lynn, Ashley, Aisha, Misty, Liz, Jennifer, Laura, Chris, Tony, Catherine, Jill, Lisa, Jan, Crafting with JD, Venetia, Sue, Liz, Elizabeth, Janice, Brenda, Linda, Reggie, Beverly, Yadhira, Vicki, Mandy, Janet, Mary, Janie, Misty, Emily, Debbie, Madeline, Kay, Connie, Diane, Pamela, Dorothy, Sassy, Tracy, Brenda, Anthony, Julie, Donna, Shirley, Penny, Dee, Shayla, Dana, Bonnie, Cynthia, Adrian, and Sleva. Thanks, guys.